the Fluent Commerce provides a global inventory or in another words, single view of inventory. And that's why inventory will be available from Fluent to all channels and storefront. So this is Elastic Path Commerce Cloud Commerce Manager. And if I go to the products, I can see and pick one product and see if this exists in the Fluent. This is Fluent Commerce uh, Console. So I can see this product does not exist, which we are going to send it to Fluent now. Also, we can see that uh, the customer, which is uh, the maximum ID of the customer is 234. So we will be creating a new customer as well. And we will be creating and sending a new orders as well. So before starting this integration, we need some information from Elastic Path Commerce Cloud, and that's the client ID and client secret. So using the application key, you can generate a new client ID and client secret. So now let's start this integration. So now it's authorized. I'll add detail for Fluent Commerce. So on this, you will be able to see a different mutation. So Fluent uh, supports a GraphQL. So you can click on any uh, mutation and can see uh, based on your requirement, you can update it and change it. So for example, I wanted to send as part of the customer creation, we wanted to send the uh, Elastic Path uh, customer ID. And see various templates now. So templates is how you are going to convert that data, which is required by the GraphQL. So all this data is available. Uh, you can change this according to your use case. Similarly, you can change any uh, of these information based on your use cases. And the last, we need to provide the uh, uh, detail ID from Fluent. So I'm going to enable all these uh, webhooks because I wanted to set up these webhooks in the Elastic Path Commerce Cloud. And I want that whenever my order has been authorized, at that point, I wanted to send the order to the uh, Fluent Commerce. Uh, you can change this and you can add more as well. And meanwhile, I'll go to webhook. So all three are being created. So customer, product, and order. And it takes automatically the URL of the integration hub. So now everything has been set up. So the first thing which I'm going to do is uh, publish the catalog so that all these products will be synced to Fluent Commerce. So order has been completed successfully. But if I go to uh, Elastic Path Commerce Cloud, I can see it is, this is still authorized. So I wanted to make sure that whenever order has been completed in Fluent, uh, the order in Elastic Path Commerce Cloud should also be captured. So let's do that as well. So if I go to the integration hub, so there is a, a capture order. So I'm going to copy this webhook URL and I'll go in Fluent Commerce Orchestration. Uh, this provides uh, a rule-based uh, workflow based on which you can set up that how would you like to you know change your order statuses. So this is the complete of the order. So I am going to look for and change this specific URL to the copied one. I'll commit this change. So now what I want that whenever his order has been completed, um, this will fire a event to integration hub, which will update the Elastic Path Commerce Cloud order as well, and it will mark that as in captured. 